Okay, so in this video, I'm going to be changing the sediment, carbon, and carbon pre-filters on the APEC water RO90 system. And so here I have the new filters, which I bought from APEC. And so we have the sediment filter here, and then the two carbon block filters. The other thing we're going to need is the original wrench that came with the system. We first start with the sediment filter here. And I've already shut off the water supply, so I don't need to worry about leaks or anything. And there we go. That's I was curious, like how much water would spill out during this process. Like if if this system is in a cabinet and you have wood underneath or something, you should probably put a pan underneath to collect the water when it drops. So. This has been used for two plus years. I probably haven't changed it, haven't changed it in a while. Didn't really feel like the need to change it. Let's see what a new one looks like. This is what a new sediment filter should look like, okay? And this is what the well used but still working sediment filter looks like. A lot of buildup on there. I'm gonna dump the water out that was in here too because it looks gross. And this has a little bit of film built up in here. Should probably wipe that out with a towel. Okay, so we're going to put the new sediment filter down in there and make sure it seats in the bottom. It's centered and put it gently up in here. And tighten that one back up. All right, now we're going to do the first carbon filter. Wasn't stuck on there too hard. See what it looks like in there. Yep, definitely yellow. Now the water, our water quality, like the water in here is yellow, and our water quality is way better than this. So I would say that I've waited probably too long to change the the pre filters because I wouldn't want the water in the pre filters to be yellow like that. Again, there's a film. There's a film in there that should be cleaned out. <laughs> okay, I'm using I'm using the water pressure tank to for some water down here to flush this out and um, don't turn it on full blast because it just flew all over my face. I'm in the crawl space, so we have a drain over there. I'm just dumping it in the drain. This is what a new carbon filter looks like. So it's nice and white and clean. And here's the old carbon filter on the right, new carbon filter. So I'm put the new carbon filter in there. It doesn't have any specific end, doesn't matter. And put it back on here. Last filter, carbon filter. Try to avoid slamming my knuckles into the wall. Ugh. Okay, that, hopefully that did it just to loosen it up. Yep, that's all it took. All right, so this one looks a lot cleaner. Look at that. So that carbon filter actually does a lot of cleaning of the water and this water in here looks far cleaner than the last one so the last one was yellow and there had a lot of film this one doesn't have any film um, or very minor film it has a, a little bit of film there but this is far cleaner than that first carbon filter stage so the carbon filter actually does a good bit of sediment filtration itself so here's an example here's the Set this number two filter, which is the first stage carbon filter, and number three, which is the second stage carbon filter. And so you can see the difference. So this this carbon filter is removing a lot of sediment and discoloration and stuff even before it gets to this filter. So that's why you would have two carbon filters in a row uh, because it seems like it really helps 
to clean up the water. This is our new carbon filter here. Now we're going to take a look and compare it to the carbon filter number three. And so you can see the new carbon filter is still um, quite a bit brighter white, but that's probably because this is wetted and you see the black from the from the carbon from the carbon behind it. And but the difference you can see is that the first carbon filter has a lot of red in it from sediment. So the second carbon filter is not very hasn't been very dirty. So we're gonna take this last carbon filter, stick it in there. All right, so that was the filter change. Very easy. It'll take you even less time than it did me because I was talking and doing the video at the same time. But I've been very pleased with this system. It's been working for, I need to check, but it's like two to three years we've been using it. This is my first filter change. I should have, should have changed it probably in the first year. Um, but uh, really it was just like the only, the only thing I noticed is we weren't getting in as much pressure inside the pressure tank. So like before I could fill five gallons pretty easily and now I could only do like two gallons maybe and it would lose pressure and have to like wait for it to be pressurized. This addition of the permeate pump here helps a lot with the tank pressure. I highly recommend this addition to the system. I really like it. I've suspended it here so it doesn't make the knocking sound because if you mount it to a hard surface you can kind of hear a knocking sound that it makes when it's pumping. That's worked really well. I've had, there's water on it right now because I just did a, I just did a filter change and I spilled some water and stuff, but I haven't had any leaks with the system. It's been very good. Everything's worked well. I, I have it down here in my crawl space underneath the house. So even if it did leak, then it wouldn't be disastrous. Uh, but I haven't had any leaking issues. All these connections have been very good. So really like the system. For the next filter change, I'm gonna change the RO element also and I'm definitely gonna go ahead and buy the APEC filter system when I do that. And I'm also need to soon to change the carbon, the post carbon filter and alkalinity filter, so the calcium remineralizer. This is the new calcium mineralizer. Very easy thing to change. We just have to remove the connections here on the old one. And the way that you remove those connections is you push I'll give you a close-up of it. Let's, here I can take this off, unsnap it, and again you want to put a pan underneath because it's leaking water. I'm in a crawl space, doesn't matter too much, but here you can see the way that you remove these plumbing fittings is you have to push in on this and then you can pull on the plumbing fitting, um, or you can pull on the water on the line. You gotta push in on the, if you just pull on the line, it's not gonna come out. You gotta push in on that fitting there and then pull on the line to pull it out. The new one comes with plugs to protect it, keep stuff from getting inside. And so the water flows that direction. So same thing with the, to remove the plugs, you gotta, helps if you push it, push the fitting in a little bit, get the plug out. And then Attach that to the outlet. Snap it, snap it back in here, and attach the inlet here. There we go. That's how you change the calcium mineralizer.